All right. I wonder if I have a link to this. Do do do. Should be going live any minute. Going live. Customize your dashboard and live producer customization to here. Drag and drop. Shouldn't be reading this right now. So what we're gonna do? If anybody's here, you call in. I answer. You talk. I listen. If you say something inappropriate, I end the phone call. There's no rules here, man. Aside from the rule I just laid out, which is the only thing I've said so far. But that's it. That's what we're doing. Do we have a link to this somewhere? I want to send this on the Facebook. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna hang out. If the if the phone rings, I'm gonna pick it up. If it doesn't, I'm gonna go to bed. I ate too much pizza. My stomach hurts, and I don't want to go to bed like this. Shouldn't have had any pizza, but um, felt like it was gonna be a good day. It was not a good day. Here's a link. Look at that. Linking it. Linking it up. Linking it in the city. Permalink. That's it. Mm. There we go. Call in show if you're into that kind of thing. That's how I promote my stuff. If you, I mean, if you feel like... Uh, 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 I mean, maybe if you want to be my friend. <laughs> Six people watching. Again, the plan. You call in. You tell me how you're feeling, what you're thinking. I'm not going to say very much because I don't really even know. I don't know. I don't really care. Um, I just I had a plan to do a thing with somebody else, and that didn't work. Um, and so I was just sitting down here, and then I saw Ramage and his thing, and he had a call-in show, and I'm like, why does everybody else get to do call-in shows? I don't know how to do that. And I'm like, well, I'm not just going to be the only stupid person that doesn't know how to do it. I'm going to figure it out. So I figured it out, put the phone number up. Now you're all caught up. So this is not a show if nobody calls in. I'm not telling you my thoughts and feelings. I'm not doing it. That's for tomorrow. I also don't, I have no idea what my thoughts and feelings are. I just, I've been getting yelled at on Twitter all day, and I feel like people need to get stuff off their chest. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get stuff off your chest. If you don't want to take the opportunity, don't do it. And you can just stare at me. Stare at me with a phone number over my head, digesting pizza, hanging out. No insights, nothing here. Got to wait till tomorrow for that. This is for you. This is your thing. I've had so many requests. Like, dude, you should have, you should have listeners. You should have me on your show. Put me on your show. I'd be great. Here you go. Here you go. Here's your opportunity. Should be working. That's the right number, right? 608-501-0718. I can see it on the thing, so you should be able to see it. You call that number. I'm going to pick it up. You tell me how you feel. Hopefully, this will be working. Should be. Can you hear me right now? Can anybody hear anything? I'm getting no feedback whatsoever. Can I, I do have two thumbs up. I would assume I wouldn't be getting any thumbs up if this wasn't working, so I'm, I'm going to take that as affirmation that I'm doing everything right with my life. This team is a choke job. Call the number. I'm going to see if Mr. Negative wants to call. He's always running his mouth. 608-501-608-501-271. I'm not going to tell him I'm doing a live stream either. He's always... Oh, I'm going to trick him into doing a live stream. It's going to get weird, though. Is that the right phone number? 5010718? I have... I have to trick people into calling into my show because nobody wants to participate. <laughs> He's so confused. I sh I'll be honest. Want to call in to my live show? Want to be my friend? Nobody else wants to be my friend. I got nine people staring at me. Nobody wants to call. Nobody wants to tell me about their hearts and their, their minds. Call me and tell me about your love life. We'll talk about it. I'll, uh, you know, let's talk about your life choices. Let's talk about the Packers if you're into that. Talk about your hatred for Tom Brady. Let's talk about how refs should get in a bus, a real big one that has every ref that's ever been. They get in a bus, and that bus is a special bus, and that bus goes 400 miles an hour. Why do they all need to get into a bus that goes 400 miles an hour? You finish the story. 608-501-0718. You can finish my story for me. What are the refs doing in a bus that goes 400 miles an hour? What do they do? I'll let you finish the story. 
<laughs> this is the most fun I've had in a long time. I get no participation. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care. What are they doing in the bus? 608-501-0718. Let's talk about your thoughts and feelings. Let's talk about your emotions. Let's get it going. Other thoughts and other things. What is that stuff called? ASMR or whatever? Like, I'm going to peel this banana right now. It's going to be crazy. He says no. Mr. I want... Give me your phone number. I'll talk to you. I got a, got a million... Everybody has opinions. Everyone's going to run their mouth. And then it's like, all right, dude, here's a phone number. Tell the world. He won't do it. He won't do it. 13 people watching now. 13 people. Sorry, man, can't do it. I called and nobody answered. What? Hey, we got a call 60997 something. This is the Packernet Podcast. Tell me about your feelings. What's going on, man? <laughs> What's going on? How you doing? Who is this? This is Cole. Chris Cole, I uh, listen to your podcast often, you know. Yeah, what's going on, man? Uh, the, I'm all right with the season. The way that it went, I think Jair established himself as the best corner in the league. I'm very disappointed in the way that uh, we didn't capitalize off the tournament. Like, Tom Brady literally threw three interceptions in seven Attempt. That Could, that doesn't happen. That never happens, and we did nothing with that. Couldn't even get a first down. So, I, I I don't know what like. Okay, I get that Aaron Jones is hurt. All right, fine. You know he's probably not coming. There's a ninety, there's an eighty, ninety percent chance he's not coming back next year. Mm-hmm. Let's start rolling with AJ Dillon. Let's start getting him some carries. Like. It seemed like after the interceptions, the Bucks just knew that we were going to throw the ball. And then we carried him one time with A.J. Dillon the last time, and he got nine yards. So yep. what took so long with that? Why, why didn't A.J. Dillon have more carries? So I, I don't know. I mean, <sighs> this one is tough, you know, because – as as much as we talk about 2014 and 2011, 16, 19, this is this is the best that Aaron Rodgers. This is the best team that he will ever have, as far as I can see. You know, next year we'll lose some players or injuries happen or whatever, and, and you know we were lucky to just get away with only the Bakhtiari and the uh, DeGore injury. Next year, you know, we won't have that. The defense, yeah, they gave up 31 points, but they really – this is the best the defense has ever played in, in, in the NFC Championship other than the Bears. So, I don't know, man. I'm just like – in in – with the Falcons NFC Championship game, I thought that this was it, you know. Felt like it. Yeah, yeah it's brutal, man. It's, it's it's tough, and and like you said, I think that's the hardest part because, I mean, last year it's like, man, if we can get X, Y, and Z to work, there's no, there's no stop in this team. Everything was there. We had everything, yeah. and, and there was no stop in the team except they just didn't show up. How do, how do you improve on that? Like, well, what's going to yeah, get better? Yeah. You know what I mean? As, as, as far as the morale, like, what else do you want? You went 13-3 two, two years in a row. And like you talk about a lot on your show, like, guys playing over their head, like, you know, uh, the Darius Smith with all the pressure, leading the league in pressure. You, you knew for a fact that he would come down to earth at some time, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, – Packers going thirteen and three, three seasons in three seasons in a row. Like how how likely is is, is that going to happen? You know, we are going to come back down to earth sometime. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, it took it took Rogers ten years to get back to that form. I mean, you know that that we might not see that again. Yeah, I mean, you know what? I mean, I'm I'm upset right now. I'm pissed off. 
But business wise, like I don't want to say this, but I mean it. It has to be said. It was hinted earlier, you know. You might have to just trade Rogers. Like what? Like there's there's nothing else that we can do. He's he won the MVP. Yes, he'll win the MVP. As far as trade value, you know, we can talk. Hey, no. We're not looking to trade them, but if if a, let's say the Colts or the Steelers or somebody offer two or three first round picks, you can't say no to that. Yeah, like, and and that's what's so frustrating. Like, if if we made it, like, I don't care if we got blown out fifty five to nothing in the Super Bowl. If we progress off of the thirteen and three season. And getting over the NFC Championship hump, then I'd be like, okay, we we made steps, but it's like this 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 team, they did great, and then now it's just it's just over. Yeah, it's tough. It, it, it you don't you don't really know where to go from here. Like you said, I mean, it, you got to put everything on the table. I think, um, but. What 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 do you what do you do that's gonna make it better? You know, I I don't I don't know. I like I'm I'm I think we're all in the same spot where I don't even know where to go from here. But um, appreciate you calling in, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna get going. See if anybody else wants to call in. But I appreciate that. And uh, we'll 2021 starts today. Um, we got that's that that's all there is to it. I mean, if if you got to take some time, take some time and cope. I don't have that luxury. I got to do the show. We got to get content going. Um, that's kind of part of what this is. It's just it's it's literally like a therapy session. Just get it off your chest and let's let's move on. I got to move on. If you want to take a day, a week, whatever, go ahead and do it. But um, Packernet Podcast, tell me about your feelings. <clears throat> hey, uh, this is Bill. Hey, Bill. I, you know, it, I've been a Packers fan my entire life, and that game sickened me to the core. Once again. This team has let me down two NFC championships in a row, and we lose them both. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I've been working so I honestly, I biggest question for you, Ryan, right now. Yep. I, where do we go from here? That is the question. I that you I the odds of us being this good again next year are as close to zero as it comes. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe a couple things get better, but I I don't see Rodgers playing this well. I don't see Jair playing this well again. This is this is as good of a football team as you'll find in the NFL. Uh, like I, we we're gonna lose Jones next year. Yep. We're gonna lose King. I, at this point, I think the Lions might be better than us. I'm not th- I'm not I'm that dead. far down the hole, but dead. but I get what you're saying. I I can't deal with it. I'm scared of Khalil Mack. I Kirk Cousins at this point, like we're so bad. I. I don't know what to do. I don't know where we go. Yeah, and I—I I mean, I, I still think it's a good football team, but but what does it matter? You know what I mean? What what does right. it matter if you're the best football team in the world when you get to the NFC Championship game and you got Billy Turner that can't block and you got uh, Rick Wagner that can't block, Kevin King can't cover, and Aaron Rodgers is having trouble throwing, and and Matt Lafleur is calling stupid plays, and Mike Pettin doesn't know how to coach, and I mean, what what does it matter? What what was all that worth? You know what I mean? It's just I don't I don't know. Like you said, where do you go from here? I, that, that's what I'm saying. I, yeah. I, I really don't. And Rodgers didn't look like himself out there. No, I mean, he, he looked rattled. He wasn't as bad as, as San Francisco. I thought he did some good stuff. But there are little things. Like, you know, he could have run in for a touchdown. He was force-feeding to Devontae, except the one time when he was wide open, he chose to force-feed it to Lazard. Like, I I don't know, man. It's just a weird, it was a, it was just a bad game. Devontae, best receiver, and that dude can't toe-drag swag in the end zone? What happened there? <sighs> It's a, it's a billion little things. You know, he had a drop, and then he couldn't get his feet in. And, and you know, again, Rodgers could have run it in. He forced it. It's just just constant little things. And, and you change any two of them, they probably win the game. But just they couldn't stop kicking themselves in the face. Uh, I, yeah, I, I, Ryan, I don't know. I don't know what we do, man. All right, man. Well, take, take some time. And um, I hope that you jump back on the train with me when you get some time. But um, I don't know. Again, call in. Let me know how you're feeling. I know it's brutal, dude. I don't. I don't. Again, I don't have answers. That's why I'm just. I want to let you guys talk, and I'm not gonna. I probably won't contradict anything you say because I don't know. I really don't. 
I don't think I'm as pessimistic as, as some of you guys are. Um, but again, it's not about are we a bad football team. I don't know. They might be a bad football team. They might be a great football team. The biggest question, I said I wasn't going to do this, but you know, I, this is why I have a podcast. I can't stop. The biggest question for me, what is what? It, there has to be a reason why it matters. If you're a good football team, you have to win. That's it. I mean, that that's that's the biggest difference. And I don't I don't want to say Aaron Rodgers isn't as good as Tom Brady. That's just where a lot of people want to go. I don't care. It's a stupid argument. It's always been a stupid argument. Depends what we're talking about. The thing that you have to respect about Tom Brady is he is the most most efficient, dogmatic guys out there. He made a bunch of stupid mistakes, but it it just feels like when it comes down to who's going to win in the clutch, it's always that guy. I hate that. And the Packers, especially now, I mean, this is, again, I love this football team. I love this football team. I love how good they are. You just don't really trust them, and I don't like that so much. If you're the best, be the best. That's it. That's all I'm asking. If you're not the best, fine. But you are the best. This is the best team in football, and they lost. That sucks, man. Sucks a little bit. Now you guys are getting me fired. I was having fun, just kicking back. Now I'm a little fired. That's all right. You got to get me primed up for tomorrow a little bit. A little preview for tomorrow. Anybody else feel like calling in? 7 o'clock. I got an hour before it's my bedtime because I'm four years old. You let me know. Field goal on the last drive was bonkers. It certainly was. I I, I mean, two years as a head coach. I don't know. I, I shouldn't be reading stuff. I got a laser focused here. Um, yeah, that that call was weird. I, I kind of get it because you feel like you're taking some of the stress off. You know, because I, I had this much faith that they were going to get that. You know, <laughs> I just felt like they're not going to get it. And then if they do get a touchdown, have they converted a single two-point conversion all year? It just felt like they weren't going to get that either. So it's like that's that's what you got to do to tie it. And then if you don't get it, well, then you have to get a stop and you have to get a touchdown and you have to get a two-point conversion. At least with this, it's like, all right, you kicked a field goal. Now you got to get a stop and then just 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 get a touchdown or, or I think it was four points. Like just get a touchdown and then you're good. You don't even you can miss the extra point. It just it was a stupid decision, but I felt like it took a lot of pressure off because I, I thought they would be able to get a stop, but. Again, lots of stupid things happened. Um, the referees were nonsense and whatever, right? I, I don't know. It is what it is. It's fine. I don't care. He always said this is a special team, LOL. That's what um, Mr. Negative said. It, I, I Again, it is. It is special based on the individual components. The problem is Matt LaFleur has got to figure out a way to put this together. He has to be able to put this together. He has to be able to make sure that his guys are willing to show up. That is a major flaw with this team, and it has to come down to the coach. Your guys are not ready, right? And I said on the podcast, these guys, are they're bought in. What happened? It felt like they were all in, man. I felt like Zadarius and Preston were all in. I saw no pass rush. None. I saw Kenny a couple times. I just, I mean, it felt like old school Clay Matthews sometimes, or like he's kind of, like he's making a move, and then he just stops. Like, why are you stopping? Keep going. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Feel free to call in. 608-501-0718. Tell me what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're doing. Get it rocking. Get it rolling. I could get some music going. Anybody want Anybody want to listen? Anybody got a request? The request line. <sighs> I was real upset, and then I was real good. I was real happy. Now you guys got me upset again. But that's all right. That's what this is for. Get it off your chest. Tell me what's up. Is there a way to use Facebook to call in rather than the number? Expensive call from Australia. I don't know. I'm 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 so impressed with myself that I figured this out. <laughs> that I'm I'm not interested in figuring it out. But I, I I'll I'll try to figure something else out. I don't know. You have to pay for that? To call Google Voice in Australia? Why does Google hate Australians? What's that about? What's up with that, Google? I don't got to pay nothing. Are you sure you have to? It's a Google number. It's, it's I don't know if that's... Try it. See what happens, Chris. I want to hear an Australian accent anyways on my thing. Is there anyone... I'll just start reading stuff, because how many people do we have here? We've got 21. Feel free to call in anytime. I should just throw the number up. Did I throw the number up? I'm going to throw the number up on the tweeters. I got 6,000 people that hit me up in my DMs like, dude, I'm totally down to help you. 
But I, this is weird. I don't think I wouldn't. I wouldn't call in. I would never call in. It's weird. It's creepy. Being creepy, man. Do do do. Feel free to call in. <laughs> just, just put a number up and say call me. Why do I have to make everything weird? I don't know. I'm not cut out for this, man. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not cut out for this. This marketing stuff. What do I say? Um. Live call in <laughs> number. If you, that's nah, stupid. I'm not doing that. I'm getting off Twitter. Twitter's stupid. Twitter's for losers. Anybody else going once, going, going several times? I said I wasn't going to say anything. I'm sticking by it. I'll sit here. I'll hang, I, I will turn on music. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to turn on some music. And there's nothing you can do about it. What do we want to listen to? What's Devin Townsend is way too intense. YouTube is suggesting Devin Townsend. That is not. Oh, you know what we could do? We could do Pogo. Pogo. Super chill. Just relaxing. Listening to Pogo. Turn that down a lot. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? You can definitely hear that. We're going to sit here and listen to Pogo if you don't call in. I'll pause that when you call in. Anybody want to call in? I need coffee, dude. I wonder if one of my kids will bring me coffee. Probably not. I don't want them to anyways. I... That's one of the gifts I have. It's just, this is loud and distracting. It's one of the uh, the gifts I have is the ability to drink coffee right before bed and just pass out in about 30 seconds. It's probably not healthy, to be completely honest, but it is a thing that I can do. I'm gifted, man. I'm straight up short bus gifted, son. What you know about that? Oh. Having fun? Are you having fun? I'm not having fun. I lied. I lied to you, and I, I feel bad about that. It's a little fun. I mean, as far as today goes, it's all right. I feel like we're hanging out a little bit, you know. This is like an introvert hangout dream right here. Like I know you're there somewhere, but you're not near me, and I don't. I don't have to like converse with you. It's great. But I am asking you to call in. Not to converse, just yell and scream. And then I'm gonna hang <laughs> I'm gonna hang up on you. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna give this a little bit. Give this a little bit longer. Feel free to call in. Tell me about your feet. I'm serious, it doesn't have to be about football. I really don't care. Legitimately don't care. This is uh Pogo, by the way. He does some really cool stuff with uh this is from Alice in Wonderland, so he does like a lot of old, I mean, not always, but like nostalgic type stuff, where he'll take that and he'll cut up sound clips from, you're over there, I'm staring off, into, I, when I do my podcast, I'm just doing this, I forget that like you're right there, um, he actually like cuts bits from the cartoons, from the movies or whatever, and makes a song out of it, it's freaking nuts, he's pretty talented, and I like, I like the music. Oh. <sighs> I do need coffee though. I'm gonna give this, let's see, it's 7.03, give it to 7.05. 7.05, Scott Olson, welcome to my Twitters. Man, it's, it's gonna be no fun. It's no fun tomorrow. No fun for a very long time. This is a good song. Uh, uh, where is it? Advertisement? Oh, just play it. No, that's not it. Around here, so I'll go easy Whatever. Here. Still Pogo. Yeah, buddy. Lightweight. Everybody want to be a bodybuilder. Don't nobody want to lift this heavy weight. No swearing allowed on the Packernet podcast. Ronnie. All right, 23 viewers. We're about to, we're about to call it. About to call it, folks. Well, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Tomorrow, I mean, tomorrow's gonna be so brutal. 
because I don't know what I don't know what to say. I mean, I, I know I have a billion things to say, but do I just like rant, and rave, and piss and moan for like a week straight? Or that's what I want to do. I feel like I'm gonna get a more negative reaction if I'm positive than if I'm negative, and I don't even want to be positive anyways. So probably at least take a day to just complain, and then. Uh, Try to move on but again the hard part is like what are we looking forward to? i mean i know what we're looking for i don't want to be dramatic i'm not going to be a drama queen about it but it's just just from a logical standpoint like what what are what are the markers we're looking for because we we hit all of them and we lost so i don't know i guess we could just chalk it up to it's just football and look if they lost straight up cool this was bad football man this was bad football like if it was just two really good teams and they came out on top you could maybe just chalk it up to uh any given Sunday or whatever, but they didn't show up, man. It sucks. Sucks, 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 sucks. Well, it's been fun, folks. I think I'm going to call it. Um, we'll do this again. I, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, like, advertise it sometime, and maybe we'll try to do this more often now that i figured out how to set this up. So I appreciate the people that called in. I'm sorry that this was a bad day. Um, it's not going to get better. <laughs> and I'll leave you with that.